Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create DIY kits together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and I was just taking a look at some of the other wooden builds we've done here so far, like our Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade. And this one was a really cool build from our friends over at Incredibuilds. Very easy to do, and it actually has a really cool blade that comes in and out. Very neat and also extremely easy to paint. I used some paint markers here and it achieved the effect that I wanted. Very cool. The next build that we did was the Robotime Seymour, the Faithful Singing Dog. And this kit was definitely more intricate and also I had to drill a couple of holes where the manufacturer forgot to do it. Nevertheless, Seymour was a great build and I definitely want to check out some other ones from Robotime. Next, we built my favorite friend in the entire world, Mickey Mouse. And this one was from Incredibuilds, just like the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade. And just like the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade, Mickey Mouse was super easy to paint and really easy to put together. I think he looks pretty good too. But in today's episode, we're doing something completely different. We're gonna be building the Wolf One handgun from U-Gears. And U-Gears is the famous company that makes all their wooden models move, either with rubber bands or some kind of gearing. Groovers, will this Wolf One handgun be easy to build or will it be extremely difficult? Let's find out together on the workbench. All right, Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our U-Gears model Wolf One handgun in some pretty awesome packaging. I mean, look at this, it's so clean. Groovers, let's take a look at the back. On the back, we have some information on what this package contains. Then we have a picture of our Wolf One handgun, followed by a QR code, which we can scan to get a nice promotional video of this handgun. You should definitely check that out. And then on the right hand side here, we get a look at some other models that U-Gears offers. Now these guys are the primary competition of Robotime, and these models look very intricate. If this one works out, I'm definitely gonna have to pick out a couple of more of these to try. Groovers, let's go ahead and open this up. Man, there's so many tabs. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, wow, look at this. We have what appears to be our two sheets of wood. And our instructions seem to be inside this paper as well. So let's go ahead and open this up too. We have our instructions. A whole whack ton of rubber bands. And we have our two wooden sheets. Groovers, let's get building. Grabbing our wood in hand, we begin to pop out our first couple of pieces for our Wolf One handgun, which is the start of the frame and a few pegs. Now, Groovers, when it comes to building these wooden models, there's quite a bit to know. Yes, they can be pretty simple and straightforward, but there's a lot of customization that we can do here ahead of time. Like, for instance, painting. Personally, I think the Wolf One handgun looks great the way it is, but if I was going to paint it, I would make sure to do that before I assemble the gun. And the reason for that is just because you want all that paint to dry in place. And you definitely don't want any of that paint running between the different parts, making it almost impossible for any of those motion pieces to move, like for instance that slide at the top. If that slide can't move freely, your rubber bands aren't going to shoot. So again, just be a little bit careful if you're painting this kit at home. Groove Builders, let's go ahead and take a look at that instruction booklet that came with our build. R2. Oh, excellent buddy. Starting on the right, we have our U-Gears logo, followed by a really good look at our Wolf One pistol. And like I said earlier, I really do like the design of this. I think it looks great the way it is. Let's go ahead and go to the next page. Next, we have our assembly instructions, offered in multiple different languages. If this is your first time building a wooden model, I definitely recommend reading over these. It will definitely give you a good understanding about how to build these properly. Let's go to the next page. And now we have our Almighty Legend page, which tells us what all the symbols scattered throughout our instructions mean. Starting at the top, we have what I'm going to call the wax symbol. Every single time that we see this gear and wax here, we basically want to cover that particular piece in wax. 
And yes, I said wax. You're gonna need a candle to build this build. And I definitely recommend going out to your nearest Ikea and finding some tea lights. Now you can use virtually any kind of wax. I just found for myself that the Ikea wax tends to work the best. And you're definitely going to want to use a lot of it. Keep in mind, this is what's gonna make your gun work. So let's not be too stingy with that wax. Really get her in there. Make sure she's completely covered. The next symbol we have is the pay attention symbol. And just like in our metal models, when we see this symbol, we basically want to give ourselves a little bit more time to complete that particular step. And it might be because there's a lot of stress on that piece of wood, or it just might be a little bit more difficult to handle. Whatever the reason, Groove Builders, when we see this symbol, make sure you give a little bit more attention. Then we have our rotating part symbol. And the first time that we encounter this symbol is on the trigger. When we see this symbol, it's very important that we make sure that all the parts move and rotate freely in that area. And that's because these parts are going to be moving. If they're not moving, put some extra wax down. If they're completely locked down, make sure you check all of your parts and ensure that they're in the proper area. If your parts aren't moving freely, most likely something isn't right. The next symbol we encounter is our sanding symbol, and this is literally scattered throughout all of our instructions, and with good reason too. Because when all of our parts are being cut with the laser cutter, sometimes they leave little bits of wood behind. This of course keeps our pieces in place during transportation, but when it comes to popping our pieces out, sometimes it can leave over some unwanted wood, and this can either destroy our upper bands by cutting them in half, or make it almost impossible for us to complete completely build our model together because these little bits of leftover wood get in the way of our slides moving. How do we go about getting this fixed? Well, group builders, we sand all of these little bits down, making them completely flush, allowing our model to work flawlessly from the start. And finally, the last symbol we encounter is our spare part symbol, which we only see one time and that's just right here over on the right, and that lets us know where all of our spare parts are on our wooden sheets. These can come in handy if we accidentally snap any of our pieces when we're putting them together, and I'm assuming because these ones are extra, they must be pretty easy to break. Now, one more thing I want to do here before we take away the instructions is I just want to show you guys how clean these are. R2, can you jump ahead? As you group builders can see at home, these instructions are incredibly clean. And I think the guys over at U-Gears did a great job of making really easy to read instructions. So kudos to them. And with that groove builders, we've pretty much finished up our instructions. And by the looks of things, our Wolf 1 pistol. This thing has been super easy to build so far, incredibly straightforward. You're just making sure that all these little pins here are all facing the right direction. That's a very big thing. You definitely don't want to take this apart once it's all together. And once I'm finished with these little targets here, I think I might even paint them. I mean, they're pretty easy, right? There are only three parts, and a bright red shiny apple might be a lot of fun to shoot. Look at that action, Groove Builders. I think we're pretty much done. Let's load her up and get back out. We did it, Groove Builders! We built the Wolf 1 pistol from you, Gears! Pretty awesome, right? Let's talk about what it took to build this pistol in construction. My first point when it comes to building the Wolf 1 pistol from you, Gears, is to make sure that you put a lot of wax on all the parts that require it. Now, I used a tea light from Ikea, and that seemed to work very well. But at first, I didn't put a whole lot of wax on the different parts. And yes, it did work, but I found that the more wax was on them, the better that everything moved. Right? My second point is about the rubber band inside of this barrel here that helps it go back and forth. Now, originally when I was looking at the instructions, I thought it was two rubber bands. It really is only one, and you're doing one full rotation at the top here, wrapping it around that peg, and then bringing it back and connecting it to this back part of the slide here. This is very important, and you also wanna make sure you're not pushing too tightly on these pieces, because you are pushing on that rubber band and it will snap. Now, if it does snap, it's just a matter of taking off this one little piece and replacing the rubber band. But you only have so many rubber bands, so make sure you're taking good care of everything around the slide. 
My third and final point is about all these spurs on the different pieces that you're dealing with. Now, group builders with my kit, it was actually extremely clean. I didn't really have any, and the ones that I did have were easy to rub out. But groove builders, it's always a good idea to make sure that you have some sandpaper around just to help you with any of the pieces that might be a little bit messy from getting them out. I also recommend taking your time when popping out the different pieces, especially some of the smaller ones, as you run the risk of breaking them. You saw in the video there that I used my tweezers to help poke out some of those pieces, and I definitely recommend using something like that to help you out so you don't accidentally break any of these pieces. And with that being said, Groove Builders, let's move on to build time. The Wolf 1 handgun from U-Gears took me just over 50 minutes to build, and that of course is with fiddling with my camera. And Groove Builders, I think a lot of people out there could definitely build this faster, but it's very important that we make sure that we take our time when popping out all of these pieces, and of course putting it together too. You can definitely make mistakes, and with these wooden models, if they break, they break. And finally, Groove Builders, my thoughts. The U-Gears Wolf 1 handgun is a pretty straightforward build to do. I think that anyone that actually picks one up should be able to build this little kit. And it has so much on it. I mean, just look at this little box down here that holds all those extra rubber bands. And I can't tell you how satisfying this little click is every single time you pull the trigger. On the very bottom, right here, they have a little laser mount that if you really wanted to, you could attach a laser pointer to just to add the effect. Now obviously this thing doesn't shoot very far, but it does take down the targets that it comes with right here. And I went ahead and just painted them because, well, they're half holes. Why not, right? This pistol is pretty easy to load, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how we do that here. Now it's very important when you're putting the rubber bands to place them on the very bottom notch and work your way all the way up. The reason why is because you're gonna be layering some of the rubber bands over top of each other. And if you work from the top down, they're not gonna shoot off the blaster at all. And instead what's gonna happen is they're just gonna fall off on the front or get caught because again, they're overlapping. Now I've almost put all five on. There we go. We're all loaded. Now I'm just gonna go put my apples right here next to Fry. Fry, I promise I won't get you. Godzilla acts nice. Now here we go. Let's see what we can do, right? One, two, and boom. Oh no, we got Godzilla. Let's do this again. Ah, we got an apple. Let's do another one. Boom. Oh, Fry, I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, there's the other apple, just like that, Groove Builders. So as you can see, this is a lot of fun. And of course, being a DIY project that you can do at home, I think this is something that everyone should pick up and play with on this holiday season. With that, Groove Builders, we're at the end of our show. I had a really good time building this Wolf One Pistol with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press the like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we've got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. Now I'm gonna take out some more target practice here, if you excuse me. Oh, the rubber band stuck.